Okay, grade eight. We are doing the lesson uh, four on chapter 11. It's called rectangles. It is here. Yes. Okay. So we need to know what is a rectangle. That's what we need to find out. Now, features of a rectangle. You must know all of them. All. When I say features, I mean properties. The question can be asked different ways. So when I say properties of a rectangle, you need to tell me the features. If I say features, I mean properties. It's the same thing. One, it is a polygon. A rectangle is a poly polygon. It is a quadrilateral. That means it has to have four sides. It is a polygon, meaning the sides are straight. It is closed. The sides are not crossing each other. Okay, so you should know that it is a polygon, it is a quadrilateral because it has four sides, it is a parallelogram, its interior angles must each be 90 degrees or must each be a right angle, okay? If they are not 90 degrees, then they are not rectangulars. So, they must each be 90 degrees. So, I'm going to draw like that. In fact, yes, let me draw a rectangle correctly. So you should know when you see a rectangle what you should be thinking about. So if this is your rectangle, opposite sides must be congruent, must be parallel. Like that. So opposite sides are congruent opposite sides are parallel see and then you should have a 90 degree like that so this is a rectangle in a picture when you see a shape drawn like that you definitely know this is a rectangle now so these are the features we go through them one by one so it is a polygon it is a quadrilateral it's a parallelogram its interior angles must each be 90 degrees. So how many of them? Four 90 degrees. You need four right angles. Opposite sides are congruent. Opposite sides are parallel. Opposite angles are congruent. Angle, let me label A, B, C, D. Angle A is opposite to C, they must be equal. Angle D is opposite to B, they must be equal. Opposite angles will always be congruent if you are a parallelogram. Always. So opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are supplementary. So A and D are supplementary. So A plus D will give me 180 degrees. B plus C will give me 180 degrees. D plus C will give me 180 degrees. A plus B will give me 180 degrees. Like that. So consecutive angles are supplementary. The diagonals bisect each other. So I am saying if A to M is the same as M to C, D to M is the same as B to C, so that this space is congruent to that space. And then this space over here from here to here is congruent to that space. So that's why I will write. Like that. So I'm also saying that this distance will be the same. So if I write A here, this is also A. This is also A. This is also A. For a rectangle, okay, all these four lines in here are congruent. And these two are also congruent, and these two are also congruent. Okay, this only happens in a rectangle. All right. So, diagonals bisect each other. The interior angle sum is 360. If I add these angles that are inside, I should get 360. If the exterior angle sum is 360, if I add the angles that are outside, these angles over here, if I add them, 
all four of them, I should get 360. The diagonals must be congruent. AC will always equal DB in a rectangle. Remember, I didn't say in a parallelogram, in a rectangle. The diagonals will always be the same. Always. Okay. Now, if you want to prove that, par that a parallelogram, if you want to prove that a parallelogram, no, if you want to prove that parallelograms are rectangles, then you check if the diagonals are congruent. If the diagonals are congruent, then you are a rectangle. If the diagonals are not congruent, then you are not a rectangle. You are just a parallelogram. Okay? If the diagonals are congruent, then you are a parallelogram and a rectangle. So, you check if the diagonals are congruent. If the diagonals are congruent, then the figure is a rectangle. Only if your diagonals are the same will you say the shape is a rectangle. You will need to remember the distance formula because you'll be asked to find the sides. From A to B, you need to know how long it is. So you, if you'll be given points, you need to use the distance formula. You will need to know the midpoint formula when they want to find, when they ask you, the question will give you the question will give you A, and they'll give you a point. Let's say 3, 5, like that. And then they'll give you C. Let's say 8, whatever, I don't know, 8, 0, like that. So they ask you to find the midpoint, M. So you'll use the midpoint formula to find M. Then they can give you A and M and they ask you to find C. Then you will use this formula where you write X, M equals X2 plus X1 over 2. And you put the number for XM and the number for X1 and then you find X2 like that. And you do the same for YM equals to Y2 plus y1 over 2. If you see that question where they ask you to find the other side or they ask you to find the vertices. Vertices are the points on the corner, the angles on the corner. Okay? So that's all it is about rectangles. So you're re applying all your rules that you have learned so far. What is a parallelogram? How to find the midpoint? How to find the end point? Like that in this lesson, okay? And you have to use the features also to help you. You don't forget about 360. Don't forget about that. So do the okay one, two, and three. Inshallah, I see you on Sunday.